You got your drawing smock? You got your drawing hat? You got some drawing shoes? You got a drawing smile? Well, put it on, whatever you got that makes it feel like it's time to draw because it's time for... Hello! And welcome to Draw Together! <laughs> I'm Wendy Mack. Here with Art Assistant Caroline. Say hi. Please, please say hi. She's so shy. And Suso. Oh. Hmm. And you. What's your name? I'm really happy to see you. And I see that we are all over the world. Who is in class today? I see you in Muscat, Oman, in Kielce, Poland. I see you in Kelso, Washington, in Berlin, Germany. Wow, we are all over the world. And here we are together to draw. And first, you know what? Let's start with just a little weather check. How's your inside weather today? Sunny, rainy, rainbowy? Hmm. Suso was looking a little blue over there earlier. Let's do a weather check in with Suso. She's, see how she's doing. Hey, Suso, how's your inside weather? Oh, I'm sorry. Suso's got some rain on the inside. That's hard. Sometimes we all have rainy weather on the inside. Well, you know, since Suso can't draw to turn her rainy inside weather to sun, maybe we can do something with drawing to do that for her. What do you think? What if we do a special drawing for Suso? What if, actually, hold on, what if we do a special drawing for Suso that she can see right in front of her that is a puppet show made of drawings for Suso? Oh my gosh. Does that sound fun? She is going to love it. But what are we gonna draw? What are we gonna draw? Maybe we should hit the request line and see. Request line. My name is Flo, and I'm five years old, and I want to draw a baby gorilla. Are you kidding me? Baby gorilla, cutest thing ever? Yes, please. Okay, wait, but hold on. That's only one thing. If we're doing a puppet show, we need two, so that means request number two. Hi, Wendy Mac. My name is Nahir, and I'm eight years old. I'm from Turkey. Can we please do a drawing of a cat? Thank you. Well, I mean, you know I love a cat. I love it! Baby gorilla and a cat. Totally unlikely couple. I, you know what? They are both super cute, so who cares? Let's draw them. Come on over here. What are we gonna need? All right, so let's take our page and let's turn it sideways. So we're gonna do our baby gorilla right here and we'll do our cat right here. Let's start with our baby gorilla. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna draw the baby gorilla eyes. Baby gorilla eyes are very big, wide, and cute. Let's draw extra cute eyes today. So let's make a little rainbow right there and let's make another rainbow upside down underneath. Cute eye number one. Just right next to it, let's do the same thing again. Rainbow, big eyes here. And upside down rainbow. Good job. 
Now inside there, let's draw two big circles. Oh, all of a sudden, we have adorable baby gorilla eyes. Hello. Now, how do we make these extra adorable? Well, we bring them to life by giving them a little bit of shine. We can always do that by putting a little triangle inside of our eyes here. And that shows the light reflecting off the eyes. And then we can color them in dark and see how that looks. When we show some light shining off somebody's eyes, baby gorilla, cat or person, or any animal, it makes it look extra alive. Look at that. Hello, baby gorilla eyes. All right, but now hold on a second. Let's do the rest of the gorilla face and then we'll give it the rest of the gorilla body. So let's draw a big wide heart right in between there. Those are our gorilla nose nostrils. You can color them in dark here. Good job. You can make it a little more like a nose by doing two little C's on either side, like nostrils. All right, looking good. Now let's do a smile. Hello. We have a baby gorilla face. We can put some lines above the eyes here and lines below, lines above and lines below. Good job. Usually we draw the big shapes and go into the details, but today we're drawing some details first. You did our face. Now let's draw our gorilla baby gorilla head, which is kind of like a egg shape. Egg shape goes around. Wow, this is going to be a really big finger puppet, but it's going to be super awesome. Well, baby gorillas have a pretty cool forehead that's like an M. If I'm going fast at any time, you can always press pause and catch up. And remember, everybody's baby gorilla is going to look different. There's no right or wrong way to draw a baby gorilla. It's just cute. Let's give the baby gorilla some hair. Scribble the hair on. Scribble, 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 Let's go scribble, 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 go some hair down here. Got a little hair on the cheeks. Got a little kind of going over to the nose there. Dick -a -dick -a -dick -a -dick -a -dick. Look at that. Hello, baby gorilla. Hello, baby gorilla. Scribble, 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 scribble. Let's give some gorilla ears. Hello. C shape. Ears. <laughs> we have a really cute baby gorilla, guys. Maybe a little couple wrinkles on the nose. Hello. All right, let's do gorilla body. Baby gorilla body. It'll be fun to color this in in a minute. So our baby gorilla, let's make it a hugging gorilla. So we can do that by starting up here at the mouth and then we're gonna make a backwards three. Let's do the same thing on the other side. This one is a three. And we can attach at the bottom. How is that a gorilla body? Well, look at this. Gorilla hug. Let's do a gorilla hug. Come on. So here's one gorilla arm coming around. Now gorillas have hands just like you and me. Just like you and me with a thumb and fingers and fingernails because we are closely related to those gorillas. Yes, we are. Here we go. Maybe this gorilla here, so this one has one hand in front of the other. Maybe this gorilla is holding something. What do gorillas eat? Gorillas eat plants, only plants. They're vegetarians. So let's give this baby gorilla a little plant to be eating. We can do the same thing here with some gorilla feet. So gorilla feet aren't like our feet though. Gorilla feet are a lot like their hands. They kind of have fingers as toes, so they can climb around a lot better than you and I can. There we go. Check it out. Give a couple little details. Boop. Little ears. Some gorilla fur on here. 
We're going to come back and color this in a little bit. It'll look a lot more gorilla-y when we put some gorilla fur on there. All right. Let's see. How's your baby gorilla going? It's good? All right. If you want to keep working on your baby gorilla, you want to pause and do that, do that. We're going to move on to the cat now. All right. Let's draw the cat. We got a baby gorilla. Now let's draw a cat over here. So for the cat, let's start by making kind of an egg shape again. Egg shape. That's going to be the outside of our cat head. Let's give this cat head some cat ears. Triangle. Triangle. And should we do some cute eyes? Yeah. Let's do some cute eyes like we just learned with the baby gorilla. So rainbow. Upside down rainbow. Rainbow. Upside down rainbow. Circle. Circle. Triangle. And what goes here? Triangle. Let's color it in. The funny thing while we're coloring in is to think about where that triangle is. The triangle is up here in the right. It means that the light is shining from which direction? From up here. Boop. Hitting the eye and shining there. Which means that it's going to be darker on this side. We should remember that when we start our coloring, we can do some shading together. Check that cute cat eyes out. Now let's give this little cat a heart nose too, but a little baby little one. Boop. Little baby cat heart nose. And we'll do a mouth like J. And on the other side, J. Backwards J. Hello, kitty cat. Pretty darn cute. All right, let's give this cat a body. So this is going to be a big oval. Whoop. Big oval cat body. And some cat arms lying down. Now this cat doesn't have fingers like the baby gorilla. It has what? What do cats have? Paws. Let's get two arms here. Paws. And this cat doesn't have fingernails. What does the cat have? Claws. Rear. Rear. Claws out. Happy claws. And this cat kind of has a cat butt. When a cat's sitting, you kind of see its butt, right? I'm going to go boom. Cat butt. Hello, cat butt. Cutest cat butt ever. And then what comes out here? Cat tail. Cat tail. So fun. So fun. What are we missing? How could we forget? Whiskers. Maybe your whiskers are straight. Maybe your whiskers go wild. Maybe they're like squirrelup, squirrelup, diddlelup, diddlelup. So fun. Let's see. Can I see yours? Let's do a check-in. Look at your adorable cat and your super cute baby gorilla. Oh, I can tell how much cute loveness you're putting into them. You're working so hard. I'm so proud of you. Let's start coloring because that's so fun. Come on. So for these ones, I'm going to use colored pencils. You can use anything you want to color. And if you don't have color, that's fine too. I'm going to use this dark, dark brown, almost black for the gorilla here. And I'm going to keep in mind while I'm coloring. I don't even know. Is this coloring? We're scribbling. Scribble, 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 scribble. I'm going to think about where that light was coming from. Does anybody remember where the light's coming from? Hmm. Yep. Up here. So that means that it would be darker on this side, right? So let's go darker on this side. Lighter where the light's coming from darker on the bottom. Scribble, scribble, scribble. Yeah. Well, we're going to be doing, let's see, this, they both have fur, right? Both of our cat, our cat and, both our cat and our baby gorilla have fur, but they're pretty different in a lot of other ways. One is domestic and one is wild. How else are they different? They speak different languages. They eat different things. They're from different places. Claws and fingernails. 
they are a very unlikely pair, I'll say that. It's kind of funny that we're putting them together in a puppet show, don't you think? Maybe it is kind of a weird couple of friends to... What? What's that? What's that? Whoa, breaking news coming in. Hmm. Hello, Draw Together Kids. Oh, it's Dr. Laurel. I'm Dr. Laurel, expert animal here with some breaking non-human news. Different animals, and by that, I mean different species of animals. Like say, a monkey and a cat, a dog and an elephant, or a horse and a goat can be friends. They can form close relationships, share food, comfort each other when they're sad, and even play. Coco the gorilla lived in captivity and knew sign language. She had a cat she named All Ball. She loved to pet and play with her cat. You, draw together kids, are great apes just like Coco. And if you have cats, birds, or say a dog at home or in studio, then you're already part of an interspecies friendship. If these animals could talk, they might even say that you are their pet. Okay, back to you in the studio, Wendy Mac. Whoa, I guess they're not such unlikely friends after all. <laughs> That's amazing. Come on, let's keep coloring them. That's so fun. Who knew? There's so many similarities. That's neat. Kind of like all of us. And who knew that we could in fact be our pets? Pets. Ah, I had no idea. That's so fun. I'm moving over here to the kitty cat. I can keep coloring. If you want to pause and you want to kind of color a little bit more on your own time and then come back, you can do that. But I'm just filling them in. I'm making my cat orange. What color do you want to choose? What color is your cat? And tail. Whoop. And now I'm going to think a little bit about where the light is coming from as I'm shading. I'm going to shade it a little bit. So if the light's coming from up here, which side will it be darker on? Over here. The other side. So I'm going to make it a little darker. Push a little harder over there. Push, push, push. Don't worry, it's kind of complicated, this stuff, so there's no right or wrong way. Just an idea. No right or wrong way to do it. Just new things to try. I'm going to give them some shadows. Lights up here. There's going to be a shadow over here. Why? Because the kitty cat's blocking the light. Oop, shadow over here. Light, shadow. When we put that shadow on there, suddenly it looks like it's really sitting there on the paper, huh? Looks more three-dimensional. I'm gonna color in a little bit of our wonderful gorilla's plant. Maybe use a little bit of brown in the face and the ears. Hello, gorilla. Baby gorilla. Cutest thing ever. All right, last thing. The pink noses, because they're babies and cute. All right. How's that going? Good? All right, should we do a quick show and then we'll turn them into finger puppets? On the count of three, you can pause, you can keep going. If you don't want to show, that's fine. But if you want to show, on the count of three. One, two, three. Let's see. Hello, cute baby gorillas and cats. Oh my gosh. <laughs> look at all that. Oh, and look at you paying attention to the light and the shadow. Look at those shadows there. And those big, cute eyes with the light coming in there. Oh, you worked so hard on those. I'm so proud of you. You know who's really going to love it? Let's turn them into finger puppets. If you want to do this, you can. If you want to keep them just as they are, that's fine too. So if you want to turn to finger puppets, we just tear out our paper, and then you might want to get a grown-up to help you with it. You take some scissors and carefully cut them out. I'm going to speed this up just a little bit. 
So you can pause if you want and catch up. Cut around your drawing all the way around and do the same thing with our cat. If you cut into the picture, that's okay. We can always use tape and fix it. Mistakes happen all the time. We could always just draw another cat too if we wanted. I think we're gonna see some sunshine from Suso. We turn them into finger puppets. We just cut a strip of paper, or one long strip of the same piece of paper we just used. And then we cut two smaller strips, just about the size of your finger. Boop, two strips. Then we grab our tape. And we turn this into a ring. We use a little piece of tape to hold it and make two of those. All right, you got two rings. Now we're gonna make two other kinds of rings. These are gonna be tape rings. So take two pieces of tape and then you turn them around. You take two pieces of tape and you turn them so they stick into themselves and they make a little tape ring so the sticky parts on the outside. This can be tricky, so you might want to ask a grown-up to help you, especially for the younger kids. Then we're going to take our gorilla and our cat and turn them over. Put one tape ring here and one tape ring here. Then we're going to take our finger rings, put them on our fingers. Boop! <gasps> <laughs> we have our little puppets. We have a baby gorilla puppet and we have a cat puppet. <laughs> Hello. 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 Hey guys. What do you think? Do you think Suso's gonna like this? I think she's gonna get a little bit of sunshine. Come on. You wanna go try? Okay, now that you have your animal puppets, you can also create a theater out of a cardboard box. Let's put on a show for Suso. Hello. Hello. Hey, animal friends. Oh, look, another animal friend. Just wondering how your weather is. Is your weather sunny? Are you feeling sunny? Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> Oh, you know what? <laughs> I think it's definitely sunny. Proof that everything is better when we draw. Unlikely animal friends and Suso and you and all of us together. See you soon. Hey, so Suso, before you were feeling a little rainy, I'm wondering, are you feeling any sunnier or maybe a little more windy? Oh, a little windy, mm-hmm. How about stormy? No, but, but definitely not as rainy, huh? Mm. Feeling any sunnier? <laughs> a little cloudy. Hey, good girl.